Hi and welcome back to the Wicked Thrifter Resale channel. We're back at it today, shopping at a couple different Goodwill stores to see what we can buy to flip on eBay for a profit. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. I spotted this ceramic cat light. I did not grab that. I thought this was a nice little picture. I initially put it into the cart. I don't know how I missed it on the lip there of the picture um, was a chip or a little chunk out of um, that piece. There was no signatures and I'm trying to limit what I pick up that doesn't have any maker's marks or signatures just so that I can kind of up my profit on those items. Can, when you can figure out who makes those pieces, generally you can make a little bit more money on those items. Here's a piece that is signed. It was only $4.99, so maybe I should have grabbed it. However, um, the market is kind of slowing down on some of this pottery. I don't know if it's because it's saturated, so I'm being more picky. Here is a uh, Pier 1 hand-blown glass peacock. They only wanted $4.99 for it. I've picked up a few of these pieces that they make for Pier 1, and they can do okay, but at $4.99, it's not my profit margin I want to get. I do put it in the cart, but I end up putting it back. I also leave this behind. They don't tend to bring me a lot of profit. If you put them into a lot and you have a few pieces like that, they can do well. Here is a condiment jar. Um, it's not Italian pottery, or it may be, um, but it's made by like a mass-produced company. There's no markings on it. It is cute, however the comps are really low. I couldn't find a sold comp that matched it. Here is an example of George Briard items. This was a nice Fire King casserole dish. Um, the gold was nice on it. However, if you look at the comps, I'm going to throw up there for you. Um, they wanted $14.99 for this, and they do not sell for that much, at least these pieces. So be kind of selective on what George Briard you pick up. Not all of it sells for high amounts of money. You'll see all those items I have in the cart initially. You know, I put them in there just to make sure I reserve it. If I decide I don't want to get it, I can put it back at the end. Here is a brown transferware set. I believe it's uh, Americana. That might be the name you'll see here in comps. They do not sell for a ton. And they wanted for each of these pieces kind of high. It was like $12.99 for the, the coffee pot there. Um, so I did not grab any of those pieces. I do grab this, however. Tanala has slowed down as well. There was a high popularity or high demand for these items at one point, and some of the more unusual pieces go for a decent amount of money. I grabbed them, I listed them. They um, will probably sell closer to Christmas. Thank you. 
you can tell fall's coming around the corner. They're starting to put out a lot of like turkey, um, chickens, pumpkins at all the stores. Here's a little glimpse of the Halloween that they have out currently. I do grab this. It's made by Waterford, which I had no clue that they made pottery or ceramics as well. And this is a holiday heirloom collection. Um, it's a witch's hat. I grabbed that. They wanted $12.99. And here's a hand-blown glass pumpkin. Um, some of these can do well if they're like Blanco or any of the known glass makers that are popular. However, this is just a Chinese hand-blown piece um, and they don't really sell for a ton. They wanted, I think, $14.99. I can't remember what was on that sticker, but I do grab this, um, a fused glass plate. Christmas is not far away. This would be a cute little dessert plate. Again, I'm trying to only pick up signed art glass unless I know the maker or if it's high quality. Here is olive wood sculpture made in Jerusalem. I grab these when I see them, especially if they're at a good price. And this one was nice. It was only $6.99. I also grabbed that purse. It's vintage um, with decoupage on it. And this was a shorebird. It wasn't signed, and I'm trying to stick to the ones that actually have the wire feet or painted wire feet um, or sculpted, like they're carved out of the wood itself as well. If they're signed, they go for decent money. You've seen probably in previous videos where I've grabbed a bunch. This was a reproduction glass bottle. I was checking for signatures on these. This decanter caught my eye. It had etched peaches, I believe, on it, but there was no signature on it. It does take a ride in the cart for a little while around the store while I decide whether or not I wanna grab it. And I do put that back. I couldn't find any comps on this piece. And everyone knows clear glass can be a hard sell. Here I'm checking to see if I can find any glasses that match. This I probably should have taken a closer look at. I don't know if there's a signature under those um, stickers there, price tags. However, it could have been Costa, is it Costa Boda or Costa Boda? Um, little double shot glasses. And the reason why I kind of hesitate to say that now is because on the shelf in a couple of seconds here, you'll see that I do find um, some signed Costa Boda or Costa Boda wine tasters or cordial glasses. I wish I would have taken time to look those other ones up just to see if they possibly were. These were only $1.99 each and I grabbed them. There were eight originally, but um, one of them is chipped. So I left that at the store and only grabbed the seven that were okay. You can kind of see it there where it says Boda. I'm being selective as well in regards to figurines that I pick up. 
they need to return a decent profit and I don't want them sitting on my shelf for a long time. This I was holding on to and inspecting. I was hoping it was Beatrix Potter, but I couldn't see underneath those stickers and I didn't feel like peeling it. Just something of the quality made me think that it might not be. I thought this turtle was cute. There was some damage on one of the things. I was hoping it was one of the bobbleheads. You know, a real large version of it, but it was not. I do grab this. I love my pottery and I love my terrines probably a little too much. Um, it is signed, it has the maker mark on it. Um, they wanted $14.99 for it. I put it in the cart and I take it home with me. It might be something of higher value than what I have it listed for, but until I can attribute it to a specific maker, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm still gonna keep researching it. It's very good quality. I'm from Minnesota and that's where I source all my items. And there is a well-known potter, uh, Warren McKenzie. Um, he had students as well that made very nice pottery and his stuff is acclaimed and they have it in museums all over. So I'm always on the hunt for his pieces or his students' pieces. I snagged this little art pottery vase. It could also be a tumbler, I'm not quite sure, but it was really good quality. I love the glaze on this one. And I also grabbed this art pottery mug. I'm drawn to this style for some reason. I have quite a few pieces from this design or this style. I wish I could figure out what the signature said on it. I think that's going to be a wrap for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch the videos. I appreciate it. If you get a chance, please like or comment and subscribe if you haven't. Here's your recap. I'll see you in the next video.